Do you want to play with my balls? Nobody else gonna get my love. What is up guys, your boy Jalen here and as you already know it's time for another one Yes, it's time for another freaking video Now I'm sure you guys read the title of this video Do you wanna play my balls? <laughs> and you guys are wondering what the hell is this all about? I'm sure this is why you guys click you wanna know what the whole situation is about Why am I asking do you wanna play with my balls? And we will get into that But I just feel like some of you guys are actually watching and you haven't subscribed yet and I wanna know why if you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. While you're at it, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, for those of you who have already subscribed, then you guys know how I do over here on my channel. And welcome you back. Don't forget to turn the post notifications on. That way, whenever I post anything, you guys can be informed. You can come over, check it out, see what I'm up to, and all that good stuff. Now, whenever you guys see me in this sort of setting, when I have my pillow, we're gonna be doing one or two things. Either we're gonna be watching a movie or we're gonna be listening to a story. Now, I love reading, and I know some of you guys may not give a shit about books or even reading. Now, listen. The stories that we're gonna be getting into on here are not your regular, regular, old, boring ass stories. Guys, I promise you, you're not going to want to miss these stories. Grab a snack, grab a blanket, grab a pillow, grab whatever you think you might need. Get comfortable, because I think right about now, I'm actually ready to jump straight into today's story. Do you want to play with my balls? Hey, Louis. Do you want to play with my balls? Sure, Chuck. I can hold your ball sack so it won't drag on the ground. Wow, your balls are so big, I can't even fit them in my mouth. My mum's always yelling, Louie, get those balls out of your mouth before you choke. You know that mean girl, Sally? She squeezed my balls so hard, they looked funny. Yeah, well, when I play with Sally, I always end up with blue balls. Billy Johnson made Sally cry last week. Now that kid's got balls. Not anymore. Yesterday, Sally kicked Billy's balls so hard, he lost one. Look, Louie, your dog is licking my balls. Let's roll them on Sparky's fur. Girls hate hairy balls. You know, Chuck, if we show Sally our hairy balls, she'll scream for sure. Yeah, but I don't know. I kind of like Sally. I wish she would just play nice with my balls. Yeah, me too. Hi, Sally. Do you want to play with our balls? Sure, but only if I can play with both of your balls at the same time. No, guy. Okay, now guys, if you're wondering, this is an actual children's book. That book was actually written for kids. The authors of this book are Christopher and Matthew Sifaldi, and they wrote this book for kids. Now, kids are innocent. I'm sure a child would hear this story or read this story, and majority of them wouldn't really think anything, you know, out of the way or out of the ordinary about this story. And I think that the authors just wanted to create a story about balls, you know, <laughs> for the kids. <laughs> But you cannot tell me an adult reading or hearing the story doesn't get different thoughts. The book is about balls, but that is not the type of balls that we're thinking of. <laughs> but that was our story for today. Do you want to play with my balls? You guys can actually find it it's on Amazon if you actually want the book. It's an actual story for kids. I hope you guys actually enjoyed today's story. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about the story down in the comment section below. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And until the next one, remember to keep safe, fierce, and love, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys right back here with my pillow for another story time. Be breezy. Peace. I'll be there for you.